Hi everybody, welcome to a new Python tutorial. Today we're gonna talk about errors and exceptions in Python. A Python program terminates as soon as it encounters an error and an error can be either a syntax error or an exception. So in this tutorial we will have a look at what's the difference between a syntax error and an exception. What are the most common built-in exceptions? How can we raise and handle exceptions? And how can we define our own exceptions? So let's start with a syntax error. A syntax error occurs when the parser detects a syntactically incorrect statement. So for example, if I write a equals 5 and then in the same line I want to print this, this will raise a syntax error because I have no I have to use a new line here. So this will be fine. Or a syntax error can be, for example, missing or too many parentheses. So if I try to run this now, this will also raise a syntax error. And now exceptions. So even if a statement is syntactically correct, it may cause an error when it is executed. And this is called an exception error. There are several different error classes, for example, trying to add a number and a string will raise a type error. So if I say a equals 5 plus and then as a string I write the 10 and now if I run this then this will raise a type error unsupported operand types for plus, int and string. So this is a type error and now let's talk about some more uh, common built-in exceptions so of course there is the import error so if I say import and then some module that does not exist then this will raise a module not found error which is a subclass from the import error this is a common exception then there's the name error so let's say if I have a variable a equals 5 and another one b equals c and c is not defined yet so if I run this then I, it will raise a name error name c is not defined then there's the file not found error so let's say I want to open a file f equals open and then um, the file is called some file.txt so if I try to run this then I will get a file not found error, no such such file or directory. Then there's the value error, um, which happens if the function or operation receives an argument that has the right type but an inappropriate value. For example, let's say I have a list with some numbers here, um, one, two, three. And now I can remove elements from a list with the dot remove method. So I say a dot remove one. So this works fine. So now if I print a, then the one got removed. And if I try to add the to remove the four, which is not in the list, then this will raise a value error. So list remove x x not in list. Then there's the index error, so if I want to access an index of a sequence or of this list that is not that is too large, so for example if I try to access the index 4, then this will raise an index error, list index out of range. And if I have a dictionary, so let's say I have a dictionary with a name, and the name is max and it has only the key value pair of the name and I want to access for example I want to access the H then this will raise a key error because the H key is not inside my dictionary. Now let's talk about raising an exception so if you want to force an exception to occur when a certain condition is met then you can do this with the raise keyword. So let's say we have a variable x equals and minus 5 and then we say if x smaller than 0 
then we want to raise an exception and then we say raise and then we raise uh, simply the base exception and as message we give it x should be um, positive. So now if we run this then this will raise this exception x should be positive and now if you give, give it a value of larger than zero then no exception will be raised. Um, as a second way you can use the assert statement so you can say um, you don't use an if statement so you use an assert statement so you say assert and then a condition and the assert statement will will throw an assertion error if your assertion is not true. So if you write here you make an assertion that x should be uh, larger or equal to 0 and now if we run this then this will raise an assertion error. We can also give it a message here so x is not positive and now this will print the message here and if our statement is correct so x is positive then your code will be just fine so if I run this then no assertion is here. Now if you want to handle exceptions so you can catch exceptions with a try except block so you write for example you write try and then colon and then you can do some operations so let's say I want to try a equals 5 divided by 0 and this will raise an error so let's simply run this um, and show you what happens so this will raise a zero division error because division by zero is not allowed. So what I can do then, I can make a try except block. So I will try this statement and then I can write except. So if an exception is raised, then the code will continue here. And then I can simply uh, print an, uh, an error happened. So if I run this then your program doesn't stop here it will continue and it will continue in this line. And you can also catch the type of exception so you can write except exception as E and then you can print your exception so you can if I run this then it prints the division by zero message from the um, zero division error class. Now it's good practice to specify the type of exception you want to catch and therefore you have to know the possible errors so for example if you know that this is a zero division error you can simply write or you should write except zero division error and then you can do something here. Um, you can also for example use multiple statements here so you can try multiple operations so let's say we want to try 5 divided by 1 so this is this is fine and then we say b equals a plus and then a, a string so we we've already seen this so this will raise so let's this will raise a type error so let's print here so let's catch this except divi zero division error as e and print e and now we also want to catch a type error so then we write type error as e and then we can also print this so now if we run this, this will catch the type error and prints this message. 
unsupported operand types for float and string and now if this fails then this will be catched here and then this mes message gets printed so now we have division by zero um, that's how you can handle exceptions now you can also with a try except block you can also um, have a else clause so an else clause um, is run if no exception occurred so here I print everything is fine and now if I for example make divide by one that's fine and I want to say a plus four that is fine and then um, the code continues in the else clause and I also can have a finally clause so the finally clause um, uh, runs always no matter if there was an exception or not and this is for example used to make some cleanup operations so here we print um, cleaning up so now if we run this then the else clause runs and the finally clause runs and if there is an exception for example this then this line is running and again the finally uh, clause also is running so yeah that's how you can handle exceptions now as a last thing let's talk about how we can define our own exception so we can simply define own error classes by subclassing from the base exception class so we can say for example class value to high error and typically you want to give your uh, class a name with an error at the end so class value to high error and then as a base class we use the exception class and then we can simply say pass so this is already a valid um, defined ex uh, error so now um, we can say let's write a small function test value with an input and now we say if x larger than 100 then we can raise this value to high error and by default it can also have an a message so we say value is too high and now if we run our method with an argument of let's say 200 then we will see that this will raise the value to high error so value is too high and now for example we can use a try and accept block so let's say try test value and then accept and catch the value to high error and then we print or let's print the error as e and then print oh, let's catch the value to high error as e and then print e so then we will see that the message gets printed here and usually you want to keep these classes small but you can write it like any other class so you can for example let's make a value to small error and also as a subclass it has as a base class it has the exception class and now you can for example define a custom init method so it has the self argument and then we give it the message and a value and then we can store these variables here so we can say self dot message equals message and self dot value equals value and now inside our test function we make another 
Um, if statement, so let's check if x smaller than 5 and then we want to raise a value to small error and now we have to give it the message so the message is value is too small and then as a value we give it the x and now if we catch this then we want to catch the value to small error as e and now we have the information about the error so we can print e dot message and we can also print e dot value so if i test my function with a one then the value to small error will get raised so um sorry i missed the colon i forgot the colon so then um it catches the error here and prints all the information that I defined here in my error class. So yeah, that's all about errors and exceptions and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and see you in the next tutorial where we talk about logging in Python.